Welcome back to another episode of Damachi. Last episode was more of a relaxed, chill kind of moment. We had a new nickname for Bell. Many names are cast. We got Rabbit's Foot. I wanted the last hero, but more than the last hero, I kind of wanted Freya's wife because that... I don't know if she was being serious. I think she was being serious, but there's a level of like, level of like comedy and trolling because she's being so obvious. His new nickname, my wife. It's like, huh? Everyone else had very funny suggestions for Bell too, but we got Rabbit's Foot at the end, which I think is supposed to be like a lucky charm. So now we have Little Rookie and we have Rabbit's Foot. And then again, a person was like, oh, it's Little Rookie. Oh, it's Rabbit's Foot now. So does the previous name still carry over? Can people still refer him to as that? Or does it have to be Rabbit's Foot? I don't really know. Also had a little bit of a Lily episode because the authors kind of made Lily into this... Uh, the devil's advocate, meaning she always has to say the shit that no one wants to hear but has to say because, or else it's too unrealistic, right? Kind of feel bad for Lily for being the villain at times because she has to say what's necessary, right? But she did get some time alone with Bell, was able to congratulate him. It was a nice little wholesome scene for Lily. We've, uh, and, and I've said this before, there's so many different characters that comes into the roster. It's hard for us to dedicate so much time for previous characters such as Lily that had quite the impactful backstory too to join us, right? I think a lot of people, might, myself included, probably forgot, you know, how important Lily was and still is, right? She's a strategist now, more than just like a, a damsel in distress. But then again, that's pretty much every girl that Belle has to save. Seems like we're getting into a new arc, something to do with Ryu. Seems like she murdered somebody. Did she actually? It's, uh, it could be typical Damachi Feika where it wasn't actually Ryu that murdered him. He was already hurt and Ryu was just looking over. I don't know, but she's blamed right now. We gotta find out what's happening. Let's get started with today's episode in the new arc. Whose voice? Cassandra? Another prophecy? Oh, what are you prophesying this time? This doesn't look very good. Is this the future that's about to come? Really fast. I can't see. It's too dark. That's Ryu. Huh? A banquet of tragedy. I mean, we already had tragedy. Cause I, why do you got a dream like? Jeez, this is the most fan service we've gotten of her. But her prophecies usually does come true, right? Everything is a premonition for you. It's, it's pretty bad. I, I do like Cassandra though, but like every she has to always prophesize such disasters, man. And Ryu was involved there with Bell at the end. Some kind of really agile, fast creature came out of the walls too. Dreams here, Cassandra Leon. That's the guy that Ryu was be uh like looking down upon. Did Ryu really kill him though? Hmm. If she did, he probably really did deserve it. Ryu has to have a good reason. Like, but why and who? Okay, but did she do it though? You only saw the Galewin at the end of the scene. I don't think so. And if she did, then there is again probably a good reason. 80 million. I, I don't know other bounties. So I can't really have a... I don't have like a comparison. But I guess 80 million is a lot. Not enough to pay off her debt though. Okay, she's, there's a witch hunt for the Galewin now. And yeah, they're for the 80 million. And the injuries were... Yeah, you had time to do that? What the fuck? <laughs> well, well, maybe she did do it. But again, there has to be a good reason. Interrogating to get what... Out of. Get to the root cause of who, who destroyed her family before? True, that's what I'm also saying. Cassandra, tell us about your premonition. Really, is that all? Really, is that all? They're suddenly fucking flat. They're suddenly kind of flirting in the middle of the fucking conversation. Lily. But while we join on the hunt, we're in the guise of the hunt, we're on everybody's side, then we protect Ryu. We get her to, we get to her first and we protect her. That's right. Smart, smart, smart. We get to bake the cake and eat it too with this plan. 
Cassandra is like, oh no, it's all coming to my premonition. Oh no 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 Say something! Oh, say something, please warn us about your premonition. What's the point of those dreams if you're not gonna tell us beforehand? But I guess it's gonna happen regardless, right? It has to happen. It's also good content for us. Oh, we're at Hermes' hideout? Are we? I don't know, I just saw that girl that's usually around Hermes. Still don't know her name, I'm my bad. Leon. Hmm. Why did Ryu probably has to do probably has to do with her past again? What happened there? But Man, I mean this like subplot of Ryu has been like introduced in like I think season one and then like it's been so long I've forgotten most about it. Yeah, man, how about how about you warn us so that this doesn't fucking happen, huh? How about you tell us exactly Yes! Just inform us. Hey, I had a dream. It could be a prophecy again that this shit happens to us. Maybe we should be careful when we're going down. The fairy who has sworn to be an usher of doom because of her path to vengeance. It is Galen. I mean, it looks like Galen exactly her design. Come on! Mm -hmm. Yes. Explain. I had a dream where you guys all fucking die. Maybe we shouldn't go there chasing after Ryu, but... Uh, but if it's for the sake of Ryu, would they really just stay quiet? Yes! Yes! Moss Huge came true, didn't it? Daphne, come on. Didn't we prophesize about the Moss Huge? Didn't we? Bell? I don't think he would, though. Considering this is for the sake of Ryu, it's like... Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Well, that just means that we're gonna get more despair content for the party. <laughs> oh, poor Cassandra. <laughs> no, I feel terrible! You guys don't listen to my fucking warnings! She's gonna go along with... Cassandra really has a sense of duty. Like... Okay, she'll follow along. If it means that she can alter the fate that they might encounter. At least tell them in detail about that. So that we can change the fucking fate that we were about to meet. But Naza, is it the other goddess? Or is it the... Is it her? Oh. It's her, okay. Oh, she heard it first. Oh, her, her tail! Her tail! That even gods can't see, that's crazy. That's crazy that she's in our party right now, too. Like, she's affiliated with Hestia's family, so like... It's an insane power, if you think about it, for sure. Lily? Hestia Lake Service. Something happened bad? That was uh, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, we're just letting her know what happened. Oh, Hestia didn't even get informed. Right, we just made the plans immediately and left. Right, I forgot because we're already in the 18th floor. My bad, my bad. Really fast and was fighting Bell. Amphisbina, huh? It's a boss? Is that what Cassandra saw in her dream? Half a month, uh... Okay, so it's a month cooldown for it to respawn. That's hilarious. Rex of the Lord. 27. Gotta go all the way to 27. How was it? Okay, okay. So we Bell could probably take it out. Something greater than the floor boss is our threats. Explain to Bell in detail what you saw in the premonition. Let him know that something a bigger threat than the floor boss is incoming. Everybody is wiped out except Bell and Ryu at that point. Well, if this has to do with Ryu, because then I forgot. 
all that shit that happened with her previous family. So all I can do is just blindly guess, but it has to do with Ryu's family. I, I don't... A monster below could be responsible for them? I don't know. I'm trying to guess. No one died. Everyone was just really is super injured. Severe plight. Mm. Maybe we'll see Marie again? I don't know. Mm. We should be careful. Maybe we shouldn't tag along. Separate. Uh... You, you gotta have a better excuse than that, Cassandra. Come on. Daphne agreeing. He's not chastising Cassandra. He's like, hey, shut up. What are you talking about? Just Belle and Aisha? Really? Ju I mean, we saw Aisha pretty injured down there. We gotta change the fate. No, 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 no. Only Belle go down there? What's... Because in my dream, you're fucking dying. Oh, of course, for Harumi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And she mentioned how much she loves Aisha, and yeah, we, we need Aisha. She's so heavy. <laughs> he was not heavy. Come on. Cassandra, you need better excuses. <laughs> Stop saying she's heavy. No. Belle, don't listen. Feel the ah. Uh, uh, I guess she's grown. <laughs> Poor. Poor Haruhime, man. It is what it is. We got a scarf. He's heading down. Here we go. Is that the episode? And that's the episode. A little bit. A, a thing that's kind of like upsetting is like, again, I talked about this before that I'm meta gaming the show, right? I'm trying to strategize what will be the path of least resistance. How can we um, do things beforehand to avoid the conflict? But if we didn't have the conflict, then we don't have good content. And that's, you know, that'd be boring, right? But if, if everyone just fucking listened to Cassandra, if at least Cassandra would mention something about <laughs> mothers of men of severe plight. In my dream, Aisha's down for the fucking counter. Everybody's dying, bleeding out. It's just Ryu and you fighting, and then something from the fucking walls comes out, and I think it's supposed to be stronger than a fuel boss. Could you at least listen, Bell? And Bell will be like, you know what? Those are very good, important points. I'll take that note, and I'll be more prepared when I eventually do meet the premonition. We don't get that. She's going to, he's going in blind. Oh god, this is gonna. So. <laughs> Could it be another really intelligent monster that could- But like, all we saw from Cassandra's premonition was Everybody just like, really fucked up, right? Ryu is- ha Again, it just looks as eyes of vengeance And there's this like, monster that comes from the wall It's like a shadow monster Comes in the cracks of the wall And that's it That's it I I I'm gonna guess it's gonna be a greater monster than Moss Street Cause this is down all the way to this 27th floor And like, how does this monster tie into the story of why Ryu supposedly murdered that guy. Goes back to the story of vengeance, right? She's hunting down specific members that might have more information about what happened to our familia. And somehow, this all leads to the monster on the 27th floor. I don't fucking know. We gotta watch more episodes to find out. But hey, if you stick around this long, if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm gonna say. Check out the other videos and playlists on my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps YouTube I'll go push up my small channel if you recommend it so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.